<clears throat> All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back here on the machine. I'm now here to talk about some NBA, some other wrestling news and NFL news. If you haven't watched those, go check those out. A lot of stuff I talked about in those. Now I'm going to talk about some NBA here. I'll do an ask for one a little bit. I just want to get these three videos out of the way. I'll do an ask for one a little bit. Yeah, so, first thing we're talking about is P.J. Washington, Washington. He's hoping for a contract around $20 million, $20 million annually per Chris Fedder. That seems pretty high for P.J. Washington. I don't know if he would deserve this type of money. Like, I mean, he averages like 15 and 5 a game. 16 of teams with little to no, little to no place to play making outside of Melo is nice. He would probably be good on a contender, but I feel like he's very inconsistent right now. I mean, maybe to be a decent deal, but 20 million is little money nowadays. That's not as much money as people would say. But he's kind of like a mid-tier NBA player. I don't think he would deserve 20 million. Just being honest. He's going to talk about Skip Bayless. Uh, he reportedly refi refuses to work with Nick Wright, per M. M, M. McCarthy Rav. Quote, Skip doesn't want to work with Nick Wright, answered the source. Skip doesn't want to work with anybody who will make him look bad, and Nick would disembowel him on the air, end quote. But yeah, I agree with the source here. I feel like Nick Wright would demolish uh, Skip Bayless. So Skip Bayless doesn't want to work with him because he, he doesn't want to look bad. He doesn't want Nick Wright to make him look bad. Skip's basically choosing his teammates like, say, LeBron James. He's becoming his worst nightmare. And Skip is just too stubborn and arrogant. They both have wild takes, so. Can't have two people who thrive with sense, sense, and sense, sense of, what am I trying to say? Sensationalism. And there are two people who can't, who thrive with sense, sense, Sensationalism. I, I can't talk. But Nick Wright would Skip and Nick Wright arguing about LeBron's legacy every day would be exhausting. Would it bring more attention to the show? Maybe. But the, just just them arguing about LeBron. Oh, is he better than Michael Jordan? Who's better? That would be so annoying. But there was one. Um, clip that showed it basically Nick Wright demolishing Skip Bayless. Basically getting cooked. It was after the uh, after um I think it was heading LeBron was heading to seven straight finals against the Warriors in twenty sixteen. He 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 would just embarrass Skip Bayless man. Uh, Sage Steele's leaving ESPN so she quote can ex exercise her First Amendment rights more freely per uh at the FOS, front office of sports. Uh, she worked for NBA and ESPN. I think ESPN in general. I don't know why she's being so dramatic. I mean, I don't know. But she basically, maybe it's about her rights or something. I don't know. I think she's conservative, and apparently some liberals aren't as inclusive as they claim to be. I think it's because um, she was like the prominent ESPN sports center anchor, sparked controversy over comments about vaccine mandates, stuff like that. Maybe that's why, so she can speak more about that. I guess, I don't know. It's just kind of a mess. ESPN is just such a mess. I don't think anything of value was lost here. But, I mean, it's kind of hard to care. Nicholas Batum is expected to retire after the 2024 Olympic per Euro Hoops net. So Nicholas Batum is uh, finally expected to retire, and he's had a great career, uh, honestly, in my opinion. I feel like he knows he ain't getting re-signed after the, this contract's up. It's good for him going out on his own terms, and I mean, he's going to be 36 in 2024. So it makes a lot of sense that after he, he would want to retire after the 2024 Olympics. So Danny Ainge, uh, he revealed he tried trading for Jimmy Butler, but Chicago wanted the draft picks that ended up becoming Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. So apparently, he said on the Players' Tribune podcast, 
They tried to trade for Jimmy Butler. They didn't want to trade those picks that would have become two stars of their team. But, they all haven't even won championships, man. I would have rather had Jimmy Butler than Jalen Brown. You're probably glad he didn't do it because you, you wouldn't have Jason Tatum. But Jimmy Butler is the more of a closer than those two. The Celtics need a closer. Like I understand keeping having Jason Tatum, but you need a closer. I th I'd rather have Jimmy Butler closing the game than Jalen Brown. Per Windhorst, uh, Brian Windhorst, uh, Philly has not has been adamant this summer. It is not trading young guard Tyrese Maxey. I mean, someone has to play guard while Harden sits out. So obviously they're not going to trade him. He's one of the most underrated young guys. He can he can ball. He's really good. And you need a guard while Harden's sitting out. So they're not going to trade him unless there's some insane value they can, could get in return. So, and Kevin Garnett said on the, at Via Shoe Basketball and Clutch Sports, quote, Anthony Davis can do everything Nikola Jokic can do. He can do everything B can do. I'm expecting him to be MVP, if not this year, definitely next year, end quote, Kevin Garnett. What's he talking about? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You have to be able to play, um, you got to be healthy. Uh, to be able to running for the to be in the running for the MVP, he has to play most of the games, and he does he he doesn't play make play make play make play make like Jokic. He doesn't pass like Jokic. He doesn't make the same reads. Come on, he's he Jokic does most stuff better. He can't play make the way Jokic does. And he's not as good as either of them from three point range. He's a better defender than both of them though. But anything else winning winning MVP. Come on, that's not happening. Kevin Garnett needs to be needs to be drug tested. Um, so, we have some stuff about James Harden I want to talk about. So, the Sixers apparently um, they never made an offer to James Harden this summer. Uh, per Jay Clark, uh, NBCS, they never even made an offer. They basically had zero interest. And Maury told that man the check was never coming. That check, he told him the check was coming. It never did. He said he's going to pay him. What's going to happen? And it never happened. I understand Maury and the 76ers have to do what's best for him, but I completely understand why Harden feels this way now. Because they said they were going to give him money. They said they were going to make an offer, and they never did. So I, I completely understand. That front office is just a mess right now. And so James Harden basically called him a liar, and and he lied to Melo too. Daryl Morey is just such a liar, man. But Daryl Morey reportedly was unmoved by his comments and still plans to keep him. He basically said, he's basically like, oh, I don't care what James Harden said. They, I don't see how he can keep James Harden, or why would James Harden want to keep playing for that team? When it's clear Daryl Morey really doesn't even care about him. And the Sixers apparently want draft picks and an elite player in a trade package for James Harden. Draft picks and an elite player? You're not going to get that for James Harden right now. Come on. He isn't even that good anymore. And it's just this drama, man. It's just so unnecessary. This team. So, the last, next thing I'm talking about James Harden is agent expects him to come in the next season in the best shape of his career and won't be surprised if he's an MVP conversation. Yeah, and and Maury said, that's a lie. Do you believe this, sir? Nope. 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 No. <laughs> yeah, that's, James Harden MVP, yeah, that's not happening. His, his agent is lying. So, two days ago, uh, Spencer Dinwiddie, starting uh, that day, would be eligible for a four-year, $128 million extension. Y'all know that ain't happening. The dude's ass. He don't belong. He don't belong in getting that much money. 
sorry. Yeah, that's really all the NBA stuff I want to talk about. I'll do NASCAR being in a little bit. I just want to get these three videos uploaded so I can just enjoy the rest of my day um, before school tomorrow because I start school tomorrow. Last year's school, thank God. But, um, yeah, um, until next time, I'm a lot. Peace.